Hey guys, you might not have seen me before, but my name's Joels, I'm from the Scarlight Squad. You guys know how the Kaijus are in every deck now? And how Monarchs are a pain in the ass? Well, I'm about to show you a deck that has both. Anyway, let's not talk too much, let's get into this. So to start off, we have three Edia and Edios, like in every other Monarch deck. Just so that way you have the ability to tribute. Because Edia gets Edios out, and then banish Edios, get Edia and another Edios back out. Just tribute for days. Then, obviously, we want the three Ether and, obviously, the three Erubus because of the fact she just gets out more more of the Monarchs while he just bounces stuff and spins it back into the deck. You just troll your opponent over and over again and make it a pain in the ass for him. The one Thestalos is just in here because of the fact he's just there so I can just, any time at all, say, you know, I want to see what's in your hand and then if you have a big monster... Fuck you, I don't want it. And then, we have the Kaiju engine here, with just two, three Thunder Kings and three Gamma Seals. And pretty much the Thunder King and the Gamma Seal is just to tribute off your opponent's side and possibly give you a 33k beater on your side. Now that's it for the monsters. Let's get into the spells. I, unlike other Monarch players, only run two of the Domain. And I only do that because of the fact 3 Domain in this deck kind of gets a bit cloggy. Um, then I run 2 of March because I need protection and I also need something to dump besides the other main cards for the Monarchs. I run 3 Tenacity to search, 3 Stormforth obviously to troll and to tribute my opponent's stuff. I run 3 of the Pantheism for draw power. And that's it for Monarch Spells, to be honest. I don't run any of the other ones, just because this is all about speed and trolling. I run two Interrupted Slumbers, in case your opponent masks and restricts you, just so that way you can just special summon instead of having to just rely on tributing. Also, it just helps with searching out Kaijus if you want to just say, hey, you know, I'm going to use it next turn, I'm going to get one to my hand, and then I'm just going to fuck over my opponent again. I run two MSTs just so I have a bit more destruction for back row. Because you never know when someone's just going to say, hey, fuck you, mask or restrict. Now on to traps. I only run four traps in this. Three prime and one vanities. I don't run anything else because I don't need anything else. I could do other things just to, you know, have other traps. But in this deck, you don't really need it. You've got... Monsters to screw your opponent up, traps to blow, well, spells to blow things up, and you got the traps here just because of the fact for recycling and to stop your opponent from special summoning. And that's it really for this deck. There's nothing else in it. It's pretty simple, and it's a lot of fun. I've pretty much gone and won a lot of matches with this deck. I've had a bit of trouble, though, with PK Fire, because... I don't really have anything to stop that in this at the moment. Um, if you want to troll the meta while also being the meta, this is a fun way to do it. Anyway, this is Joel's from the Scarlight Squad. Peace and out.